This is Matt. He fell in love with Carmen. Matt and I have been married for almost nine years now, together for 11. Then Carmen fell for Keith, who was already in love with Brooklyn. And did I mention Brooklyn is also dating Matt? I think the best label that we've come up with so far is a heterosexual quad or a poly quad or a double couple relationship. Whatever they call their relationship, not everyone has reacted positively to People them. People just assume that when you're polyamorous, they're like, oh, you're into some weird stuff. No matter what you do, I mean, people judge you, so. And it's not just judgment they have to contend with. Does anyone ever get jealous? Who On a count of three, raise your hands. Ready, go. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get jealous a lot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my. That's how it's going to be. This is the intro, y'all. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is like a normal Saturday night. <laughs> I'm trying to look more comfortable, but it's not working. So. How did the quad start? Um, I'm so comfortable. <laughs> we love each other. Matt and I got into West Coast Swing Dancing last year, and Brooklyn and Keith are kind of the top people in Nashville to, to do that. And we had seen them around and you know Matt and I personally had talked about an open relationship or what that would look like and we kind of just all hung out a couple of times it happened pretty quickly I mean and it was very organically too as a quad we've been together for about eight months now. not long into their poly relationship and all four people in this quad are living under one roof Keith and I were in an original relationship and Matt and Carmen are married in an original relationship as well we like to call ourselves the OGs and then we also have the switch where Keith and Carmen are in a relationship and me and Matthew are in a relationship as well. I think the best label that we've come up with so far is a heterosexual quad, poly quad, double couple relationship. I've seen a lot of monogamous relationships that they just make it work and that's not something that me and Carmen wanted to do. We didn't want to just make it work for 20 years, 30 years. We wanted to actually live a loving life and so if this is the way to do that, <laughs> but, but, she always thanks me for laughing at jokes, but I think they're She funny, laughs so. at most of them, which is, it's great. It's <laughs> actually, it makes me feel really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be monogamous in today's day and age. Like, there's so many social media outlets, a lot of temptation, if you will. There are pieces in within yourself and within other people that aren't always going to align perfectly. And if you have other people in your life to kind of fill those gaps. Me and Brooklyn, we, we tend to have a lot more banter. <laughs> like uh, then me and Carmen. <laughs> Keith and I really kind of do more like soul search work together. Is that fair to say or like? Yeah, I think that uh, we tend to dig a little deeper into our feelings. Each yeah. one of us kind of have roles in each other's lives that are met by the individuals here. And it's a pretty great family unit overall. But it's not just the four of them living under one roof. Carmen and Matt's two young children are also part of the picture. This is the living room that we watch TV. <laughs> Karen and Ellie know that Brooklyn and Keith are part of the family and that we all love them very much. Beyond that, um, we refer to them as their godparents and that's all, you know, they do know. Brooklyn, Keith, mommy, dad, owner, and me, and Annie. So what do you think about having Keith and Brooke as part of the family now? Um, that they're nice to us and I like them being here. Yeah. There probably will be a point where we would tell them. Uh, they don't, I mean, I at, just so young. at six and three, I don't think you really even understand what a marriage looks like or a, or just a romantic relationship because you don't really have anything to go off of. So I do think eventually we would tell them. You get some ice cream at the ice cream store? I want to get donuts. Donuts? We go out sometimes and we go to restaurants. Mm-hmm. And that's it. With two kids and a long-term marriage to Matt, Carmen found it hard opening up about her evolving relationship. I was pretty nervous to tell my family because I felt like they weren't going to be okay with it or judge me. I put it off for a while and then I finally was just like, Mom, we're dating other people. And I just like blurted it out. And <laughs> Matt heard me on the phone and he was like, whoa. But I was like, I'd rather just have it out there. And then, I mean, people are going to judge you if they 
love you, if I don't love you, no matter what you do, I mean, people judge you, so. With some judgment being harder to deal with than others. They, they tell me all the time how they, they're like, are you thinking about your children and this is gonna mess them up and it's not right and all that stuff. So that's been pretty hard for me because I take parenting very seriously and I would never do something that would put my children in danger. So that's been kind of difficult. Wow. What? Do you have it with two hands? Lick it. Oh, come on your eyes. You got it? I would say the biggest misconception is that people think that we just, you know, do stuff all together and have orgies all day every day and that's it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like people just assume that when you're polyamorous or that you have multiple loves in your life, people think they're like, oh, you're into some weird stuff. We feel the most judgment when we first tell people about our relationship. Um, but for the most part, it's been really positive. Most people just have a lot of questions. And it's not just the judgment that this court has had to contend with. Does anyone ever get jealous? Exactly. On a count of three, raise your hands. Ready, go. Matt. <laughs> yeah, we get jealous a lot, but that's just part of it. It's one of the challenges I feel when we're all communicating mm -hmm. that we can work that's through anything. Night. What would I like to do for my next date night? Do you like going out and just going to a restaurant and hanging out? I do, out, but I, I would love to do a date day and go to like a amusement day. park or something I'll go to like yes we do schedule switch or og time however we like to not make it so um rigid yeah so rigid like it's a flexible schedule flexible schedule <laughs> obviously um if there is a tiff that's happening between the og and it's time for us to switch we don't do that because we haven't seen the best outcome so we make sure that our relationships are solid before we go into switching um, because we don't want anyone to be hurt. We all kind of give each other a look like, hey, is it, hey, what do you, what do you feel like? Uh, yeah. that, that's hey, hey. hey. I don't like that look. So it brings a lot more excitement into it as well because we don't want to lose that. The benefits of being in a poly relationship are definitely um, just having another person to lean on emotionally and connect with them in a deeper level. With so many benefits of being poly, this quad have no intention of going back to being two pairs anytime soon. Being in a quad relationship is just the extra amount of everything. It's going to be extra love, which is amazing. It's going to be extra fights or extra disagreements. Sometimes it's amazing and sometimes it's not so amazing, <laughs> but you have those hills and valleys in every relationship. Who doesn't want more love in their life? <laughs> it's been pretty great, actually. <laughs>